right, so today's quick tip is going to be how to set up your uh, managed Apple ID on your recently um, wiped and enrolled MacBook. The reason that we want to do this is our managed Apple ID that we use in the district has 200 um, gigs of free online storage, which will make it a lot easier to create all of the things from your iPad, but also have access to those on your computer. So we're going to walk through that right now. For recently um, wiped and managed MacBook, you're going to need to go up here to the Apple icon in the top left corner. Go to System Preferences. When System Preferences open, please go to iCloud right here. Now when you log into your Apple ID, this is going to be the managed Apple ID, which is your first last at appleid.lcisd.net. So go ahead and sign in for me. You're going to press Next. And again, this is the password that you have created uh, most likely you've signed in already on your iPad. If you need assistance resetting this password or if you do not know your password for your uh, managed Apple ID, please email help at lcisd.net. Okay, so now this is going to be texting you a identification code. This is Apple's two-form identification to make sure that you are who you say you are. So please enter that six-digit code right here. Okay, so now this is going to pop up with some a couple questions for you. Are you wanting to use iCloud for your documents and data? You want to make sure this is selected. This is going to make sure that anything that you build in your notes and keynote, pages, numbers, things like that are going to be managed between your MacBook and the um, iPad that you're creating those things on. Then you're going to go ahead and press Next. Now you need to decide on some of these choices. So on your iCloud Drive, you can go into your Options and you can decide on a couple things depending on how you want to manage this. Do you want your desktop and document folder to back up to iCloud? So that means anything that you save here on your desktop will back up to iCloud. Okay, so decide if you want to click this or not. Okay, do you want your photos to back up from this computer? So your shared albums, your iCloud photos, so any photos that you put in this photo album here do you want those things backed up to iCloud.com? Um, so decide which of these things you would like to have signed in. Okay, and then do you want your contacts, calendars, reminders, your Safari, notes, news, and stocks? Do you want all of these things to be backed up? Okay, so these are some of your settings. Okay, so now that I'm done, I know that I'm logged in because when I come back to this Apple, back to System Preferences, when I go to iCloud, so this is now going to show that I am signed in to my iCloud account right here. All right, hope that quick tip was helpful. Have a great day. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.